What's going on family? This is Greg Foster here with Market Boss Real Estate Group. And in this video, we're taking a look at one of the most in-demand new home communities here in New Braunfels, Texas. You've got five builders in here to choose from, hundreds of acres reserved for green space and parkland. There's great schools, lots of shopping, awesome amenities, and you have the benefit of being just minutes away from all of the outdoor fun that New Braunfels is famous for. Stay tuned because I'm giving you everything you need to know about living in Veramindi, and we're getting into it right now. Today we're back in New Braunfels, Texas on the northwest side of town, right off of Loop 337. In the last few years, we've seen so much growth and new development in this area as more and more people have made the move here for the historic charm, the amazing scenery, and the active outdoor lifestyle that New Braunfels is known for. In fact, many of our clients that have been relocating to the area have been showing a lot of interest in Veramindi specifically for its beautiful home designs and the quality of life that comes from living in a truly master plan community. Now, if you're considering a move in the near future, our team gets calls from folks just like you every day researching homes and neighborhoods in the New Braunfels area, and we really dig it. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home anywhere in the New Braunfels or the San Antonio area, then give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or click the link in the description to schedule a Zoom call with a member of our team. However you wanna get a hold of us, we've got your back in New Braunfels, Texas. So if lifestyle, convenience, and a real sense of community are the things that you're looking for in a neighborhood, then Very Mindy really is the place to be. Everything about this development is built around the idea of combining tranquil hill country living with beautiful homes and modern conveniences. Right outside the neighborhood, you've got quick access to the West Point Village Shopping Center just a few minutes down the road. It's the main lifestyle center in the area for all of the grocery shopping and pretty much everything that you're gonna need on a day-to-day -day basis. You're just a 10 minute drive from downtown New Braunfels with all of the locally owned shops and restaurants and the year-round activities taking place in the main plaza around Circle Drive. The historic district in green is also just a 10 to 15 minute drive away with all of its unique shops, the river restaurants, and the green dance hall where you can hear live music well into the night on most evenings. And there's just so much to do outside here with all of the parks around town full of picnic areas and large green spaces with walking trails and biking trails. There are splash pads and play areas with river access for swimming or tubing down the Guadalupe and the Comal Rivers pretty much all year round. And Veramindi is also just a 20 minute drive from Canyon Lake where you can easily spend an entire day out on the water and relaxing in the Texas Hill Country. And in addition to the active outdoor lifestyle here in the area, many families focus specifically on Very Mindy for their home search because of the amazing school systems here in the New Braunfels Independent School District. Very Mindy Elementary is located right at the center of the neighborhood along with Oak Run Middle School just a few miles down the road. And right at the entrance to Very Mindy is where you'll find New Braunfels High School right next to Unicorn Stadium. With the ability to live, work, learn, and play just minutes away from your doorstep, it's easy to see why there's so much demand for this side of town. But with so many options for new home communities in the New Braunfels area, let's take a closer look and see why folks are choosing Veramindi over all the others. As the only truly master plan community currently developing in New Braunfels, the long-term vision for Veramindi is a vibrant, dynamic neighborhood combining small town, family-friendly charm with the beauty of the Texas Hill Country quick access to big city conveniences, and all the amenities that you could ever want right in your own backyard. Towards the front of the community, you have a resort style amenity center open year round with a 5,000 square foot pool. There's a sun deck around there, an interactive splash pad, lounge areas, and pavilions with a poolside kitchen complete with built-in grilling areas. If spending time outside is important to you, then Very Mini has nearly 500 acres reserved for the development of green spaces and trail systems throughout the community, so you're never more than a quarter mile away from these little pocket parks and grassy areas throughout the neighborhood. On most evenings, you'll see folks out jogging or entire families out for a walk. There's bike lanes along every street, and eventually more than nine miles of natural hiking trails are gonna wind through the community, giving you plenty of green belt home sites to choose from. And when it comes to the homes here, Veramindi has five of the top builders in Texas building their very best home designs with a wide range of pricing across multiple lot sizes. 
Scott Felder starts in the upper 400,000s on 60-foot lots with David Weekly starting in the low 500s, also building in the same section. On 50-foot lots, you have Perry Homes starting in the upper 400,000s along with Pulte's floor plan starting in the low 400s. And Guillen Homes comes in with the most affordable pricing with their homes on 40-foot home sites starting in the mid 300,000s. The Scott Felder model is the Hillsboro plan with four beds, three full bathrooms, and just over 2,600 square feet of living space. This plan has a really nice nice foyer area with covered ceilings and a little corner for a small table right at the entry. Next to the foyer you have the first of two bedrooms in this hallway and a full bathroom with plenty of cabinet space for storage and decorative glass tile all around the shower surround. Both of these bedrooms are a pretty good size but the second room actually flows right into this adjacent sitting area basically doubling the amount of space that you have in here. I think this works really well for a multi-generational type setup if you have an older kid in college or if you have parents living with you this would be a perfect space for that. There's a little kitchenette in here with a sink and a mini fridge and a microwave. You also have a full bath with a walk-in shower exclusive to this room and there's even a separate entry at the front door of the house off to the side right before you reach the front door. Back on the other side of the foyer you come into the main living area which sits right at the center of the home. This space measures a little more than 18 feet by 25 feet with options for built-in shelving, niche lighting, and a fireplace to warm things up on those cool winter evenings. You do get an office space in here just off the living room which is super helpful if you're working from home. And I really like the kitchen in this model with all of this accent lighting in here. You've got all the counter space you ever need around this oversized center island. And the breakfast area is larger than a lot of formal dining rooms I've seen with more than enough room in here for large gatherings with family or for entertaining. The primary bedroom measures 16 feet by 17 and a half feet with large picture windows letting in a ton of natural light and the primary bathroom offers double vanities on either side of this large garden tub in the middle and a separate walk-in shower on the opposite wall. Now I'm telling y'all right now, after I got done walking through that Scott Felder home, I was ready to cut a check for that model right then and there. But if y'all thought that home was nice, just wait till I show y'all what David Weekly has to offer. Their model is the Ridgegate with four beds, three full bathrooms, 2,500 square feet, and a three-car garage option. Out back, you can take a look at this extended covered patio option with enough space for an outdoor living room on one end and a full-on dining area just on the other side of the back door. At the entry, you've got a small hallway with a couple of bedrooms and a bathroom off to the side with this first bedroom facing the front of the home and featuring this really nice seating area with built-in shelving for some additional storage around this front window. And I just feel like this room has a lot of character to it, which is something you usually don't find as much in these newer homes, so I was really happy to see that here. There's a full bathroom right next door with the shower tub combo, and just on the other side of the bathroom, you come to bedroom three with the window facing the side of the home. This floor plan comes with a large flex space just before for the living room with the optional desk shown here along the back wall, which is really nice if you wanted to use this room as a study. Wood flooring leads you into this open concept living area with the kitchen immediately to your right hand side. And I really love the two-tone cabinets in here with the bar top seating and the pendant lighting over the center island. The family room has a full wall of windows overlooking the back patio and it flows right into the dining room, which is large enough to accommodate six to eight people sitting around here for a pretty good sized table. Tucked around next to the living room is bedroom four with its own ensuite full bathroom with a walk-in shower. And back on the other side of the family room is the primary bedroom with high ceilings and enough room in here for a big old king size bed, two nightstands, a dresser on the opposite wall, and even a little seating area next to all these windows here. You have double vanities in the primary bath with a large frame mirror and a separate tub and shower with glass enclosure on this far wall with lots of natural light streaming in from this window. Now, if you're not looking to be well into the 600,000s after lot premiums and option selections, then it's all good because Perry and Pulte Homes are building some amazing home designs with some really high-end finishes on their 40-foot section here in Barramendi. The model for Perry Homes is the 2545 with four beds, three full baths, and 2,545 square feet of interior living space. Out back, they're featuring the optional extended patio measuring 12 feet by 21 feet, and this outdoor seating area by the fire pit really sets the mood for taking in these Texas sunsets. Similar to the first couple of models, you have bedrooms two and three at the front of the home with a full bathroom in between for them to share, and bedroom four is just a little further down the hall with its own full bath right around the corner, complete with a walk-in shower. The main living area is an open concept with a clear view from the kitchen all the way to the back of the home, and I really like the color scheme in this kitchen with the two-tone cabinets, the pendant lighting, and the bar-type seating at the center island. 
You've got this long row of cabinets extending from the kitchen out into the dining room, doing a great job of framing this entire space with some extra storage right off the kitchen. And there's this large game room with 12 foot ceilings measuring 11 feet by 18 feet. And I gotta say, I'm not really used to seeing all these flex spaces and these game rooms on these one story floor plans that you get here in Baramendi. Usually you have to go with a two story home design to get enough space for all of that, but apparently these builders out here have really figured how to fit all of the two story options on a single story footprint out here. The family room at the back of the home has Perry's signature wall of windows overlooking the backyard and you get this really nice evening glow in here from the setting sun off the back patio. The primary bedroom is right off the family room and it's the same kind of vibe in here with the floor to ceiling windows letting in all of this golden hour sunlight. There's a large garden tub on the back wall of the primary bath, a separate walk-in shower, and you get double vanities on either side of the doorway as you step inside. Now, if you are keeping track, that's like three single-story models that we've got on the board out here. And if you're wondering where the two-story options are, then Pulte Homes has you covered with their Morville plan coming in at five bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and more than 2,600 square feet of interior space. And I know this thing looks like a single story from the outside, but you'd be surprised to see just how big it is in here and how much space that you get upstairs. On the first floor, you have a full bathroom right at the entry with bedroom two next door facing the front of the home. And then further into the foyer, you come to the formal dining room on your left-hand side and an optional study to the right through these double doors on the opposite wall. Just past the foyer, you come into the kitchen area with bar top seating wrapping around the center island. You've got some nice pendant lighting in here for a decorative touch. And I'm pretty sure this is like level four, level five granite with all of the veining that you see through here. There's this breakfast area right off the kitchen overlooking the back patio. And this gathering room is just super inviting with stone accents around the fireplace in the corner over there. The primary bedroom features the optional bay windows, giving you some extra square footage for a nice little seating area in here. And they also do a really good job of pulling in all of this additional natural light into the space. In the primary bath, you have this large framed mirror spanning the full length of double vanities and a spacious walk-in shower all tiled out with a partial glass enclosure. Upstairs, you get a really nice setup with this massive game room up here measuring 16 feet 4 inches by 18 feet 8 inches, and you do have the option for a dedicated media room with this plan if you're looking to get your home theater on. Bedroom three comes included up here along with the third full bathroom across the hall. And there's also the option for bedroom five in case you were needing the extra space for everyone to fit comfortably in this home. Now, one of the things that I appreciate most about Verimendi is that you have so many builders in here with so many home designs covering such a wide range of pricing. So there's really something for everyone in here, no matter what kind of style or price point you're focused on. And Guillen Homes is doing an amazing job of setting the tone for entry level pricing with some of their most popular floor plans in their journey series right here on 40 foot home sites. Gann's model is the Meridian with three beds, two and a half baths, and 2,100 square feet of interior living space. And after spending months of the afternoon walking through single story homes, I was really happy for the opportunity to walk through a two story family room towards the end of the day. I mean, personally, I just think the ceiling height in here hits different from everything else that I got to see in Baramendi. The kitchen offers a ton of counter space and storage around this large center island, and the primary suite occupies nearly half of the square footage down here, with the bedroom measuring 14 feet by 15 feet, and a spacious bathroom complete with double vanities, modern finishes, and a large walk-in shower with optional bench seating. Upstairs, you've got this really nice loft area for an additional living space or a game room, and this elevation also comes with a little balcony right at the front of the home, which I thought was a really nice touch. There's bedroom three down the hall right next to the loft area, a full bathroom right next door for everyone to share up here, and bedroom two is at the end of the hall measuring 10 by 13, the same as bedroom three. Now, if you're wanting more information about what it's like living in Veramindi or any of the other communities out here, our team's getting calls every day from folks just like you researching homes and neighborhoods in the New Braunfels area, and we really dig it. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home anywhere in the New Braunfels area, then give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or click the link in the description to schedule a Zoom call with a member of my team. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back in New Braunfels, Texas.